Good morning, I hope you're all doing well. Um, it has been a while, hasn't it? I was uploading every day in May. Ooh, I did like, I think I got two thirds of the way through it. I got to like the 21st or the 22nd or something. And then I got a load of work deadlines. I think everything's kind of starting to like start back up again. And so I just had to prioritize those, but I've kind of like reined everything in a little bit more now and I've got everything a bit more back to normal. Um, I also haven't posted over the last week or so to allow the Black Lives Matter movement to have, to be at the forefront. I don't want to be taking up any space away from that. So um, yeah, that's why there hasn't been videos for a while. But today I am going to film a little vlog, I think. I have just filmed a skincare video. <laughs> Why did I do that? And I'm really impressed actually, that will be coming later this week. It's a brand new brand, well excited. <laughs> Today, I think I'm gonna sort out my wardrobe. Um, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna film a, another couple of videos. Might go for a walk. You guys said that you like these homie vlogs, so I'm just here to deliver. <laughs> um, first of all, I put some banana in the freezer yesterday because it was looking a bit ripe. <laughs> and now my whole freezer smells like bananas. And I'm really upset about it. I hate it when things smell like bananas. I think I'm more sensitive to banana smell than most other people because I can smell a banana. Like, I can smell, if, if half a banana is in the fridge, I can smell that half a banana in the fridge for like a week after it's been taken out of the fridge. I, I don't know what it is. But basically now whenever I open my freezer it smells like banana and I'm worried that it's going to make everything taste like banana. Does anyone know what I mean? Um, so basically I'm going to use the banana now and I'm going to make myself a smoothie and I think I'm going to do banana, soya, chocolate milk, my favourite, and peanut butter. I'm going to try it. I've never made a smoothie before. Might go wrong. So here's the blender. This is actually Megan's. I've never used a blender in my life. I hope she doesn't mind me using it. I don't think she will. <laughs> <laughs> um, banana. I've got a whole banana that I cut up because I read that that was better to freeze for smoothies and stuff. Um, now I've got, this is the soya chocolate milk that I drink. I have this almost every day for breakfast. I love it so much. It's my favourite thing in the world. But now I've just realised I've got a bit of a dilemma because I have peanut butter, but I also have Biscoff. Oh. Biscoff does win, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. Right, okay. So, change of plan. No peanut butter, we're going for Biscoff. So, oh God, I don't know how much of this to pour in. Right, I'm going to pour it up to the 300 mark. That might be too much. I think that's too much. I'm going to stop there. How much Biscoff? One, maybe like another half. Oh my God, it's just the best. If you have never tried this Lotus Biscoff, specifically the crunchy spread, you're doing yourself an injustice. <laughs> How do I get this to actually work? It's switched on at the wall, but like, I know it's very noisy, but how do I get it to make the noise? There's no button. <laughs> well, that terrified me. I think that's done. Oh, there's a bit of a chunk probably fine. Oh my god, the perfect amount. Turns out I'm a chef. <laughs> I think I might be a genius. You know what, actually, as well, the frozen banana makes it feel like ice cream. Mm. That's very good. I would do that again. Hello everybody, welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm going to be doing the Bathroom cupboard clean out that I do about once every six months. Um, I was gonna do my wardrobe today, but I can't be asked, so I'm gonna do this instead. Um, basically, how it works, <laughs> in here I have some stuff, I don't know what's in there. In here I have some other stuff, I don't really know what's in there either. This is where I keep like everything that I use every day. And then like beyond that, to be honest, it's anyone's guess. Up the top there, I have products, unused products, never opened products and some bath bombs. So as you can see, I've got basically boots in my bathroom. I have not bought a new toiletry product for 
um, probably about 18 months now because I just have such an excess and I just want to get through everything. Like those baskets are overflowing and they shouldn't be. So the thing is obviously bath stuff gets sent as presents, like birthday presents and stuff, which is lovely and I love the stuff. So like obviously I'm, I'm not being remotely ungrateful for it, but it's, they're just one of those things that like build up a lot. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then on top of that, I get a lot of like hair products and skincare products sent through PR. So because of that, even though I haven't bought anything, it literally just builds up. And yeah, I'm not being ungrateful. Obviously, I'm hugely grateful for both of those things. They are lovely things to receive. Um, but basically, I like to every now and again, basically do like a stock check, figure out what's here, figure out what I'm using, what I'm not using. Um, have a little bit of a move around so that the products that I want to use up are at the front um, in the hopes of being a bit more sensible. <laughs> um, so at the moment on my sink I have this Bath & Body Works Nourishing Hand Soap in the scent Twisted Peppermint. I love this stuff, I think it's so nice. It smells like peppermint, obviously. And then I have these two hand lotions because I've had these for literally so long um, and I just want to use them because they're really nice but they just sat in my cupboard for ages so now every time I wash my hands I also use hand cream which is good because obviously I've been washing my hands a lot lately. Yeah I don't really know like what to film but let's give it a go. By the way if at any point throughout this situation you see a product that you would like a review of let me know. There are a lot of products in here that I intend to review but I haven't yet and I'm making a list today of upcoming reviews so yeah please tell me if you see anything that you would like to know more about because I can happily do that for you look what I have done <laughs> why do I always do this sort of thing to myself it has to get worse before it gets better look I've just got everything out obviously on this what's this word uh, shelf I've just put all hair stuff that's everything hair so there's hairspray dry shampoo there's heat protect spray, detangler spray, styling products, shampoo and conditioner, um, bobby pins and hairbands. <laughs> My hairbands and grips were in these Kilner jars um, and that was good because they stacked. Those things don't stack although I kind of have managed to stack them on top of each other. But here's what I've learned about myself and my storage solutions. I am lazy, right? I am. And rather than getting jars that you stack on top of each other and then to get to the one on the bottom you have to move all the others, undo it, do it back up again, put it underneath, put everything else back on top and actually expect me to do that every time and not just end up with a big mess. I'll be honest, call me a child, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Whereas with those, I think like I either just reach in or I move the top one and then grab out of the bottom and then just put it back. And you know what? It might not look as good and they might not stack as nicely, but I will keep it tidier that way. I just, if you two are lazy, <laughs> just make sure that your storage solutions are not too complicated. Things like what I'm trying to implement is getting drawers instead of boxes to stack because I'm so much more likely to put something back in a drawer than I am to put it back in the bottom box, <laughs> you know? Okay, now I think I'm gonna do, yeah, fragrances all along here. Um, these fragrances, I have like a separate thing for my perfume, which is in my room, um, whereas these fragrances are more like body spray type things. And to be honest, again, these are the kind of thing that I do just seem to accumulate. Actually, I've got some really lovely, um, like, Jo Malone little cologne samples that I want to keep all together, but it's the kind of thing where, like, I don't want to use these until I've used, like, all the other stuff that I have, because those are open, some of them. These aren't. This is such a weird angle. Yeah, so I'm just going to put all the fragrance up there. To be honest, they were already up there. I've kept this pretty organised, you know, since last time. I think the thing that's going to make the biggest difference is when I get up to those baskets up there. I'm also watching Little Fires Everywhere on Amazon Prime. Very good, would recommend. I'm just making some lunch, so I thought I would show you what I'm doing, since for some reason people really like to see what you eat <laughs> in these vlogs, I've noticed. Um, so basically I'm going to make this like roasted vegetable wrap thing and I'm going to put some hummus in it. 
um, and some cheese probably as well. And I'm going to make enough to last me like a few days. But I've got these eight multi seed tortilla wraps from Tesco. And then I've just got some red onions some peppers, some mushroom and some courgettes. I think I'm probably going to cut up like two of each and then maybe half of the mushrooms and then have it to last me a while. I love this stuff, it's so nice. Here we have a very full pan of roasted vegetables. This is gonna last me so long. It's probably gonna last me four or five days. Um, I've got some mushrooms over here that I'm gonna add in later as well. God, I need to clean this. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. It normally takes about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer for um, probably half an hour and then put the mushrooms in as well. Um, I've just seasoned it a bit. And yeah, basically I like it when the onions go crispy. So that's why I put it in for so long. There they are. I'm so hungry now, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna sort of mix them about a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop some of those in a wrap with some cheese and that's my lunch. My tripod kept getting in the way, so I've put you in the shower. <laughs> Um, this is a prime example of why it's really important to do this every now and again. So my favourite makeup remover, the Dermalogica Capri Cleanse, and my other favourite one, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, have both completely finished. This is still in the cupboard, don't know why, it's completely empty. So I thought I'd run out of makeup remover and I'd been using, where's it gone? This tiny benefit sample, um, which is lovely by the way, it's the Their Real Remover. But, like I knew that I was gonna probably need to buy another one. Um, but now, obviously I've just been through all of my cupboards. I have found a whole bottle of Soap and Glow Peaches and Clean Deep Cleansing Milk, which is a makeup remover. I have found the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter, which again is a makeup, you can use it as a makeup removing balm. I have found several samples of Clinique makeup removers. I don't need any more makeup removers. Um, I've probably got enough to last me months still in here and this is why I have to go through every few months because I literally just forget what I have and I need to not do that because th that's how this happens. Okay, it is late. It's like, I think quarter to midnight. Um, and as you can see, I'm still in the bathroom. I have been like doing some other bits. I need to do some emails and some invoices and things, but obviously that's not very but I think I am done, apart from, I swear, there's just always stuff on this countertop that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> um, let me show you what I've done. These baskets look, if anything, probably worse, um, but I got everything out and basically threw a load of stuff away that has been open for a long time and then decided what to do in terms of like, what to review, what to keep. I'm actually thinking of starting up a second channel that is only for reviews called like Amy Astrid's Beauty Cupboard or something um, where I just try out all of the products I have because as you can see I've got so many and I know that some of you really enjoy those reviews but I don't want to clog up this channel too much with just review after review so um, if you would find this helpful then let me know because it's something that I'm really considering. These are the cupboards. Obviously um, uh, to be honest, I don't know if they even look that much tidier, but they feel a lot tidier. I know where everything is now. So up there we have hair. Over there we have like body stuff. This is my like medicine section, some deodorant. I've got so many deodorants. Why do I have so many deodorants? I mean, I do use it, but still. Um, this is my like everyday skincare. So as you can see, I tend to use like Dermalogica and Clinique mostly. Um, and then in there I've got like my toothbrush and stuff. So that's the stuff that I use constantly and then over on this side let's move you over yeah as i said got hair stuff up there um that's all fragrance and then some hand creams there's so many more hand creams in those baskets as well and then on here we have this is a whole box of face masks that i've accumulated my absolute favorite brand for face masks is okay and they really kindly sent me a massive box of face masks like earlier on in the year and i'm still guessing through them but they are amazing i love them this is a skincare product that i'm currently reviewing well actually there's four of them i actually love them uh i've only used them for one day and i already know that i love them so it's a brand that you might not have heard of because they're very new i'd never heard of them before so stay tuned for that so yeah that's been my day today um 
let me know in the comments what you're all up to how are you finding all this time at home obviously it's kind of getting towards the end of that now isn't it but um i'm really uh like determined to make these last sort of few weeks i know that we probably will be spending more time at home but you know what i mean um it won't be so intensive, I don't think. Um, but yeah, so I'm really determined to spend these last few weeks really sorting out just everything I own. So these videos seem to have gone down fairly well so far. <laughs> so I hope this one does too so I can make more organisation videos because honestly, they help me to organise. I need to organise my wardrobe. I need to organise my shoes. <laughs> There's so much that I need to do. I hope that you've enjoyed just spending the day with me. Let me know what you're up to. I would love to know. And um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in a couple of days.